Month of May coverage brought to you by Stoops Buick GMC Plainfield. A retired doctor attended his first Indy 500 while in medical school in 1964. He continues that tradition this weekend for his 54th race. It's a reunion for Dr. Harlan Hunter's family with his grandchildren in town from three states to enjoy their Christmas gift from Grandpa. Our Indy 500 correspondent Laura Steele explains. It is a gift to be at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway in the month of May. And how about the gift of speed in the Indy two-seater? We are joined by retired orthopedic surgeon Dr. Harlan Hunter, who's not only an old-timer but also served on the uh, photo department here at IMS. This is a family thing, having your family members go in the two-seater. Finally, your grandkids are old enough. Tell me about today. Oh, it was awesome for them. It, it's all about them, not about us. We've all done it. The next generation's done it. But it's them, and they've only heard about the two-seater ever since they were about yay high. And now they've finally got to experience it. And the experience is to go out there with some famous drivers. You've done it. Oh, yeah. Who took you for a ride, Dr. Harlan Hunter? <laughs> J.J. Yaley. Oh, yeah, J.J. Yaley taking oh, yeah. you out. And he forgot the count, and we got an extra lap. There you go. That's always a beautiful thing. So you got the gift of being out there, and let's talk to your grandkids. They're in from all over the states. You're the oldest, I understand, so you got to go in first because you wanted who to take you around the track. Mario Andretti. Okay, and, and how was it? Amazing. Yeah. And what is, uh, what's it feel like to be like out there on that Indianapolis Motor Speedway and knowing that it was a gift from your grandfather? Amazing. It's, I mean, it's a, like he said, it's one in a lifetime opportunity. And okay. And then who, uh, how was your trip? Oh, it was amazing. And do you know who took you out there? Yes. Wade Cunningham took me out there. Okay. And uh, would you like to say something to your grandfather for this wonderful gift? Oh, for sure. It's a big thank you from all of us. Um, right here, as she said, I can't put into words how incredible that was and it means a lot to us. And the special things that happened at this Indianapolis Motor Speedway and a lot of them as we know involve family and bringing you guys in from out of town was the goal and the job done by him which is super cool um, you something super cool is happening with you in a few days you are graduating I'm graduating on the 24th then flying back here that Friday morning you flew in this morning flying out tonight graduating and what's more exciting graduating or the two-seater the two-seater two-seater all that hard work in school now you have twins yes. and do you think that you're gonna see them in this two-seater one day that's his goal I know that yes um, one of them's favorite word is already IndyCar and she's only two she knows IndyCar yeah. there you go so even though there's not action at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway today with the drivers who will compete in the Indy 500 we have one very grateful family Thanks to an old timer, a retired surgeon who's obviously worked very hard and thinks a lot about his family to give them the ride of a lifetime. Here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, I'm Laura Steele for 24 Hour News 8. Oh, Laura, love that story.